by the power of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, please protect my energy as I divinate this message for the star sign of Scorpio for the month of July 2023. Please give us clear and precise messages. And thank you for tuning in to Star Seed Direct. All right. Let's see what kind of energy we're working with for the month of July. Holy Spirit, messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Whoa. High vibrational. High vibrational. Okay. We got musician. All right. So, Scorpio, something very significant about music in the month of July. Okay, you could be a musician or you could be dealing with a musician. For some of you, maybe you're looking to hire a musician for something. In the month of July, Scorpio, you may also feel like you may be drawn or pulled towards wanting to do something, but you're stuck doing a whole bunch of other stuff that you, you would rather be doing this. Okay, or <laughs> this as in this person or something else you got going on. Okay, you also have settlement. This may be uh, settling some kind of situation regarding uh, licensing, okay? You're getting settlement energy regarding something creative here for the month of July. Mm -hmm. Angelic assistance is present. So for your reading, Scorp, we're definitely going to um, pull some angel cards for you as well. All right, let's see what else we got going on for Scorpio before we pivot. Someone is grateful you grateful for you, or you may be grateful to have someone in your life. All right, Scorp. There's going to be a very huge energetic blessing coming in for you. But be mindful of your mouth in the month of July, because what you say may block this blessing. That's for a small group of you. Okay. Something about the throat chakra is significant here okay don't block your blessing with something that you speak okay words hold power scorp so in the month of july you want to be mindful or strategic with the things you say or how you express them okay someone um may be thinking about you heavily in the month of july also okay or this could be you energy is interchangeable take what resonates whichever side does all right, we got enough from that pile. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's switch decks here for a moment. Let's see what we got going on. Scorpio. You may be reflecting on whatever this creative endeavor is, okay? You may be possibly contemplating writing something for someone or some kind of message. You could be getting music downloads heavily in the month of July also. Okay. You're definitely looking into something. And Scorpio, that's something that you do consistently. But in the month of July, when you start turning that certain wheel, okay, in your head, it's going to be... It's going to be a song. It's going to be something creative that triggers something that causes you to reflect about a situation. I'm so glad to have you in my life, Holy Spirit. You may be contemplating whether something is good enough. You may also be counting your blessings regarding your friends, okay? You see someone as a friend here. You may be grateful for your friends. Someone may be coming through for you in the month of July in a way that others can't. All right? Let's don't block your blessing. Don't block your blessing. Yes, sir. Okay? You need to pray more in the month of July. Okay? You're possibly contemplating that something that happened pri prior to this situation, that it wasn't blocked because of something you said. You may be praying about this. There also is something very active in the dream state in the month of July, Scorpio. Okay. Okay, you got the nature card, for forces of nature. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And you're accepting that perhaps your guardian angels do care about you, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and tap in and see who we got coming out in this read. 
Now, I've said this in a lot of readings, but for those who are new to my channel, Scorpio, everybody on earth is assigned three guardian angels. One that garden, one that gardens, okay? So gardening may be significant for somebody. Scorpio, everyone has three guardian angels. One that governs your physical vessel, protects you from harm, you know, accidents, things of that nature. Then you have one that uh, guards your spirit. Okay, your soul essence, um, your calling, things of that nature. And then you have one that governs over your life path, like what you came here to do, what you have been assigned to do, and assuring that you're on the highest vibrational timeline of such. Okay, ah, yes. All right, heavy creator's energy in the month of July, Scorpio. Okay, the angel that is prominent in your read for the month of July is Ariel. Okay, so 46 may be significant, deriving to 12. 12 um, in regards to Christianity is a very uh, prominent number. It represents completion um, in biblical texts. Um, this is a perception and revelation, discovers hidden treasure, reveals secrets of nature. Okay, so you're getting nature twice. You may be acquiring some kind of knowledge after reflecting upon oneself, retrospecting, or reflecting upon some kind of other situation. It's kind of like listening to something, even though you've heard it before, but listening it, listening to it again at a different receptive frequency, right? Like you're getting something new out of something every time you listen to it. So I don't know if this is a meditation, if you're going through some kind of a, a you know, audio therapy or something like this, or this could be something that you're creating, okay? Entendres may be significant, all right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Let's go ahead and get you a dreaming totem since we had dreams come out, Scorp. Where are we at? Seven minutes. You got resilience. Someone is protecting you from the truth because they are worried about your response. It's not their decision to make. You're tougher than they think. Scorpio, someone may be reserving giving you clarity in a situation. And this could be because they are afraid about what you're going to think. Scorp. Mm. You could be having dreams about this person or you could be having dreams about a situation. Okay. For some of you, this could be nightmares. I don't know. But you are subconsciously thinking about this a lot and it's coming out in your dream space because energetically you feel like someone is hiding something from you, okay? Someone may be protecting you from a truth. Perhaps they have the foresight of what this is and they aren't communicating with you what they foresee, okay? This could be because they're trying to protect you from something. It's for some reason... This energy may be like foresighting or seeing something that could poten potentially harm you or be bad for you. And they may be taking it upon themselves to just pray for you, protect you in some kind of other way. But you may feel in this situation, okay, that you deserve clarity in the situation regardless because, you know, you, you're tougher than this person thinks, okay? They may also feel that by you knowing whatever this is, whatever details or clarity that you have or want or desire in this situation, that it's going to um, affect the outcome of a decision in the month of July. Okay, let's go ahead and get a, a cookie. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. A birth of a child is also likely. Okay, so Scorpio, for some of you, maybe you want to have another kid. Okay, maybe you went to the doctor. Maybe people told you, you know, it's not possible. Okay, I was told that too, Scorpio. And guess what? Two kids later, 
okay? You may be prompted if you and your partner are trying for another child, you may want to get a second opinion or go to a different doctor or, you know, explore the options that you may have, okay? There's a lot of different things you could do, surrogate, in vitro. There's a dynamic here that is involving children. If this isn't a physical child or you're not desiring more children, this may be the birth of a project, a new endeavor, or some kind of new aspect of your life that hasn't been tapped into before. Okay. It is time for, or there is a time that is ripe for soulmate connections. Okay. Soulmates aren't always romantic partners. This could be the friendship energy that's coming out here. This could be a family member. I don't know, but something is very significant about soulmate connections in the month of July also for you, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and hit the tarot. 1111, Scorpio. All right. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So the divine may be ushering in an opportunity for you. Whatever this is, is going to be huge. Okay. Ace of Pentacles is a lot. Okay. This could be time. This could be abundance. Spiritually, energetically, or materially. You may hear about this opportunity in the month of July. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is going to be exactly what you wanted, okay? Wish fulfillment. This could be something that you're calling in, something that you're manifesting, okay? You may be getting accepted for something. What is this? Uh, This could be a college grant. This could be some kind of contract, okay? This could be an opportunity for work, Scorpio, okay? It may prompt you to have to put a little bit more energy in to something that you usually don't do, but that could be something that's stressing you, okay? You may be burdened at the fact that, yeah, this is a big money-making opportunity, but I'm going to have to put in some legwork, possibly more work than you're used to putting in, or maybe it's been a while since you put in that kind of work, all right? Let's see what nature is. Nature. Mm -hmm. You may be definitely retrospecting. See, Seven of Pentacles, which Scorpio, you do a lot, okay? But something in the month of July is really going to have you reflecting on what are avenues I haven't used yet? What are ways that I can do maybe this extra work, right? And not only get in the perfect position for this Ace of Pentacles, but possibly have it create more avenues or like residuals. What I'm getting in my third eye, Scorp, is like a vein, okay? I don't mean to sound like negative or condescending or anything negative, just follow me. Like someone injecting something and you see how there's like a main vein and then all those little veins. It's like something that you can put some energy into, right? And then it's hitting all those little nooks and crannies as well, okay? Maybe vein wasn't a good visual, but it could also be a root, a root like to a tree or a plant or something. Like when flowers lean towards the sun, okay? There's definitely something. You could be having dreams about the past here, possibly a past relationship or a past life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Prophetic dreams, perhaps. Yeah, your intuition is on 1,000 in the month of July, Scorpio. Okay, you are a water sign, so that is something that comes with the territory. Okay, Scorpio, you may feel that you need protection. For some of you, you may be getting important premonitions that may be negative for some of you, okay, which is prompting you to look into something. This could be something to do with your diet or something that you're drinking or something to do with either not getting enough rest or getting too much rest, okay? What is this? Something. You're getting some kind of intuitive hit through the dream state or through meditation or through something. Something is telling you it's time to move on from something emotionally 
This is either something that you're still trying to hold on to from your past or something that you're currently doing in your life. It's time to move on from it because it's blocking you from spinning this wheel. The wheel is waiting for you, Scorpio, but you can't access your turn at the top of the wheel at the moment regarding this Ace of Pentacles because you haven't moved away from something. What is pray? Yeah. You got the Tower, the Five of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Five of Cups, and the Magician. Somebody is regretting manipulating a situation here because it's going to cause a tower moment or you may be projecting a tower moment or you may be actually going through a tower moment and you may be praying for solid ground at the moment okay Scorpio you rule the tower if anyone knows how to gracefully ride the tower to ground zero it's you okay so Although there may be regrets, you may be sulking at the moment or this if this hasn't happened yet in the month of July, you may be overlooking these three cups, but you're forgetting these two cups behind you. Okay, so namases to the two that might be missing out of this eight for you to gain the ten of cups once again. Okay, let's go ahead and look into this five of cups. Scorp, 16. You possibly regret judging someone's situation or judging another. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with... There's very little air here. Gemini. You got the King of Swords. You could also be dealing with some kind of authority figure. Spirit says yes, Gemini. Okay, Scorpio, what is this? You definitely want to engage or take action towards something. You're trying to see the way forward out of a situation to heal whatever transgressions this is, whether this is on your part or someone else's. Okay, you may want to mend a connection or you may want to heal some kind of dynamic here, possibly regarding something that was said. Someone is taking action without really thinking about it because they feel like maybe perhaps they thought too long about it. Okay, you also have the Two of Cups and the Six of Wands. This speaks of a friendship. Again, you're getting friendship energy, partnership. If this is business related, this could be the, a merger of some sort or you doing a business deal with someone that you consider a friend for a victory. Possibly something that you or this other group, company, person had to wait a long time for, okay? I'm hearing it was a long time coming. Six of Pentacles, okay? Some kind of situation is going to be balancing out here for you in the month of July, Scorpio. Mm. But you're concerned, you're up in your head about a situation here, possibly involving an empress. This could be a mother figure. This could be um, a divine feminine energy, or this could be, you know, someone else. It's a feminine energy here. This could be you. You could probably, if you're a female Scorpio, you could be wondering if you're pregnant or if it's going to work. Okay, if you're trying to get pregnant, we're going back to that storyline now here. Yeah, you're definitely looking into a situation. You feel betrayed and heartbroken. There's some kind of situation here regarding a pregnancy or some kind of um some kind of missed opportunity here in the past. This opportunity may be coming around again or there may be another opportunity that is similar to the one that you passed up on, possibly with the same person, possibly with a new person. But you're reflecting on this betrayal and heartbreak from the past, which is prompting you to take a different course of action, possibly one where you're not going to take a whole lot of time thinking about. You're going to be more about action in the month of July, Scorp. Okay. There's a part of you that is up and you're, you're still in two minds about the situation because you're concerned about being judged, but you feel like you're going to be judged either way. If you don't move, you're going to be judged. If you do move, you're going to be judged. You may be weighing out the lesser of two evils in a situation in the month of July. Mm -hmm. You're definitely deciding to take action, okay? You may have to move independently for a small period of time. 
Maybe you're used to working with a large group of people or something about a situation is going to require you to move independently, okay, to move on to calmer waters. But upon you doing this, yes, you're alone, but you're making it look good, Scorpio. Okay? You're making it look good. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the minute you get your mindset into this energy, okay, whether this is the partnership or the friend, whatever you decide, whatever outcome is going to have you at the nine, this is when this is going to be bestowed upon you by the divine, okay? Clarifying this, ten of pentacles. This is your way, okay? This is your way. You can't worry about what everybody thinks. You got to worry about what's... What's what's the best way to move forward for you? What does your heart tell you? What does spirit tell you? You are very intuitive. You're getting dreams or possibly nightmares. Your guides are literally trying to help you create this. Okay? There is assistance here. Even if you're alone, for some of you, you are you may be independent on whatever this is you're working on. But you're never really alone, Scorpio. You have the help of your angelic team, your spirit guides, your ancestors, the most high, you have the intuitive capabilities to know, okay, maybe I should go about this a different way. Or maybe I need to take time to look into this. This didn't really work last time. So let's see what we could do to tweak it, to make it look, look, I meant, it, I meant to say work better, but what I got was look better. Okay. So something about looking better. Okay, you could be in interior design, something to do with a house, something to do with a contract. You're definitely burdened about a contract in the month of July, and it's going to prompt you to take risks. Okay, you're going to have to take risks. If you don't take risks, you're going to regret not taking a risk. Okay, you may be curious whether this risk is going to be worth it. Okay, it's going to prompt you to possibly do things a little differently, Scorpio, and you got to be able to you know, take that risk, okay? Remain balanced, okay? And whenever you feel doubtful about a situation, pray about it. I promise you, you're going to get some answers. All right? I hope that this edified you and helped you in some kind of way. Scorpio, you already know, baby. Until next time.